Welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts, Burning Dog fans. We're here in Mia's dance party. Where I've noticed a few of the dancers still seem to exist. Got like four left. Hey, will you dance? Watch and learn, kid. The way it skipped from will you and to dance sounded like one of those edited lines from a YouTube poop. And if you're not familiar with that term, you must be very confused right about now. Hey, will you teach me how to dance? Come on, dance, baby! Well, some things never change. <laughs> of course. I don't know why I'm surprised. What are you? Yeah. Mia Vodello's head, where Disco never died. Ooh, two more. Uh... Oh, there's one right there. I mean, since I am right here. I don't know about the race part, but... Uh, what the hell? There! Why did I point at the screen? Uh, how the hell do I get... Oh! There was a cobweb down there, and... Oops. I hope they were not in the race area. Up in one of those, yeah, in one of those. Oh, and I'm further away from where I need to be. Don't mind me, official Psychonauts business. In an official Psychonaut brain. It's kind of gotta be that one. Nope, no it does. Right, well, I will accomplish something just now, so take that! Got it. You know, I didn't completely finish a thought from one of yesterday's videos. I was uh, explaining how uh, not only did they give the voice of Raz a cameo in the otherwise unrelated Brutal Legend, they made his character do uh, Raz's little dance that he stole nope, from Bobby's not gonna blow my Nope, not gonna blow my eye, man. I'm in my groove place. Can't get a good, can't get a good, can't get a good huh. rent. Jerk! Man, the bouncers here suck. Nope, not gonna blow my eye, man. I'm in my groove place. I mean, in defense, there's only one bouncer here, and he's inanimate, so... I don't know what you're expecting. There you are, you shit! Yes! Right in my inventory! Uh... Okay, now I'm confused. I don't actually remember what I was meant to be doing in this room, so that's part of the problem. But yes, uh... They did that. And I like that, because they, uh, you know... <laughs> I just like the impression that they remember, you know? That they, uh... 
they care about the people they've already worked with. And I found out an example of that. I don't know the details. I don't know, like, anything about the character or what role he plays. I can't imagine it's a terribly large one. But apparently they returned the favor and gave Brutal Legend protagonist Jack Black a, a role in Psychonauts 2. I like that. I don't like this fruit fly flying around right in my face. I very much appreciate that not to be happening. Decision. Oh, perfect. Well, that's annoying. I can't, for the life of me, remember how to progress through this area. Is it just up? The fuck? Why would it let me look all the way up? Why did it kick me back out to third person view? Wait. Oh, I must have nudged the left stick or something. Hmm. Strange. Okay, just check. All right. I guess I'll just be going then. Be a cobweb in here somewhere then. Do this. Why even? So that felt good. Almost. I don't remember what I was looking for out here. Oh, that's right. There was I was one off, wasn't I? Yeah, one figment. Thank you! I keep seeing things move across those, like, lighted poles in the back. I'm thinking, aha! Because they move in the way that some of the uh, figments do. I like that people who love a story always hope for more. Like, you do a search for pretty much any uh, video game, you just put the title into Google, and I feel like one of the suggestions that will come to you is that game followed by the number two. Or, you know, whatever number is appropriate. Making sure this isn't how I passed it last time. Sorry, except not really. All right. All right, I guess I'm getting fixated. Very well. 
Anyone else think it's weird that this ladder rotates against the wall as you climb? Never seen a twisted ladder before. I didn't even notice that before I... Just now, actually. Hmm. Okay, we're here in Ford's lab. So I can drop off all these uh, cobwebs I've been collecting. Excellent. Do I happen to have a core? I still need to buy a side core at the camp store before I can use this machine to make side challenge markers. Okay, then I will do that. Okay, here I am at the cabin. Hey, where are you stopping? Oh, I thought you stopped. Isn't that normally, no, no, no. uh... Let's go. Hey, want to help me save the world? Not now, Raz. I'm trying to finish writing my memoirs before we all die. Sorry, 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 my bad. Hmm. Not to worry, my bro. Uh, Let's just pick it that up looks an awful right lot like this. something that isn't memoirs. Oh, yes, and, uh... I was uh, advised by Andre to try pressing Y on the TV. Finally! Everybody's gone and I can watch whatever I want. <laughs> so what you do prefer, Running Dog fans? Kung Fu movie, sci-fi movie, or western movie? I'm gonna leave it on the aliens. Whoa! That was good! Hey, how can you tell there's a drummer at the door? <laughs> Son of a bitch, I really does do that. speeds up! Oh, shut up. I did that on purpose. It's a jazz thing. Duh. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> uh, I guess some people aren't ticklish. <laughs> he even laughs in a monotone. I didn't notice this one before. Read, and it's Sasha with a brain. What else do I have that I can interact I'm not with? Wear my costume here. People will think I'm crazy. No, I can't interact with that. With them, I should say. Oof. Not now, Raz. I'm trying to finish writing my memoirs before we all die. Why, I ought to simmer down there, Phoebe. You promised Mia you wouldn't burn any more kids. <sighs> okay. <laughs> now that's still wrong. Okay. Let's do it like we did before lunch. Let's tempt today. Okay. Can't get a good, can't get a good... Oh, wrong one. Ahem. Okay, that... Anything else in here I can show these people? What of this? That was the worst ever. God, I don't want to show anyone this so bracelet. Bad. People mm. will think we're totally oh, boyfriend girlfriend. Maybe we're really good. Uh, uh Mr. Pokilo. But we're playing in a genre oh, of music that hasn't been invented yet. So it just sounds wrong. Whoa, the story you're so ahead <laughs> of time. <laughs> yeah. Maybe All right, can then. Be a little wise-cracking sidekick. I'm glad to have helped. What do you think? Uh, I suck! No way! You're the best. That was good. I messed up! No, no, it sounded good. It sounded true, you know? Well, don't patronize me, Hedge Mouse. You gotta get back on that horse, Phoebe. You get back on that horse and hit it and kick it and bash it and ring its bell. That's not how you treat horses. Well, which are you? A drummer or a horse lover? Forget it. Let's play again. Anything beats talking to you. I really like how he's so supportive of her when she's down on herself, and when she's not, he keeps teasing her. 
Sounds like a good friend. That was not sarcasm. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokemon. Hey, little turtle. Careful with that crown if you do any stage hey, diving, okay? Uh, that last part? Yeah? Well, the thing is, see, my dog can scratch better than that. <laughs> okay, first of all, the last time I heard that joke, I fell off my grandma's solar-powered dinosaur and broke my metric buggy whip. Second of all, you know my dog died this winter, so it's not nice of you to make fun of it. I said my dog. Oh, so your dog's better than my dog? No, I... what? That's it. I quit the band. What? Come on. Let's play band fight. Just for a bit? Oh, not that again. No. <laughs> I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokemon. Okay, Mr. Turtle. This next song is going out to you. Hey, do you think Kitty likes me? Quentin, everybody likes you. Can we just play? No, I mean likes me, likes me. In the way that you like burning stuff. Hey, that's an unhealthy compulsion. I can't help myself with that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Do you think she has an unhealthy compulsion about me? No. Can we play? Okay, well, think about it. I'm gonna ask you again later. <laughs> How much fucking dialogue is in this game? No, I can't mess around with Mr. Pokemon. I've gotta give him back to she right away. So do you know. Hey, anything new in the store? Take a look. Mm. Now, you take that shy core there. Put I'm gonna remember the buy button. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? Now, that's it you for now. That All right. Go get more airheads and come on back. Support your local merchants. Hey, look who I found. Wow. I never thought you two would get back together. I know. Isn't it just too romantic? I just hope James won't be too crushed. Shh. You promised. No talking. Hey, wanna help me save the world? Kinda busy. Hey, wanna help me save the world? Can't you see we're too busy being in love? Oh, right, yeah, okay, I guess I'll just have to, uh, improvise. Yep. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I'm not annoying you, am I? <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what he sees me as. Not a girl, and therefore not important. <laughs> oh damn it, I keep forgetting to check the Fords. Don't mind me. Uh, kindling. I don't know what to make of that. That's just Raz with a much bigger scarf than usual. Wait. Yeah, I think it's Raz wearing a scarf like his? That's a weird one. What do you see me as? What? Yep. Man, I really want to know what Vernon sees me as. Oof. Not now, Raz. I'm trying to finish writing my memoirs before we all die. That's a mouth. Oh, because he's the cook one, okay. Yeah, that, that, okay, that one makes sense. What the... Uh, jiggle it. Oh, but while I'm here... <laughs> I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelope. Oh, Mr. Pokelope. I wish I had a hard shell like yours around my heart. I think that's the first time I've heard her say something that wasn't shitty to someone. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokemon. Mister? Don't you have any female friends you could introduce me to? <gasps> Pig! I mean, yeah, but, uh... Just a heads up, buddy, I don't think you're gonna find her that sexy. <laughs> Let's go check on Elton and Milka. Is it Milka? I think it was Milka. Yep. 
I enjoy that everyone has a line for the turtle. I want to know them all. I've gotten distracted from my mission, but I am okay with this. Oh. Let's go crash their party. Oh. Oh! Oh, of course. Yeah, fine. Hey, you want to help me save the world? Mm. Later. Mm. Hey, you want to help me save the world? Mm. Later. Hey, you want to help me save the world? Mm. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, uh, he responds Later. for both of them. I guess because she's the quiet kid. Mm. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelo. You, you. Okay. I hope that doesn't make him dizzy or anything. Nothing dangerously. Ooh! Now that everyone's back. Anyone seen Milka, who I am totally dating now? I know she's invisible most of the time, but this time she's really gone. Please let her know I'm looking for her. Elton. Hey, just FYI, show her that message. She's gonna eat that up. Concern is always good. Oh yeah, I never did figure out how to get up there. seen other people. He can't see me from down here, so we're fine. Where the fuck is the tree here? There it is. You know what? I just suddenly had a thought. If I knew the world was ending and I'd just gotten my brain back, I might be trying to leave. I like when the balloon catches on stuff. Hey, Maloof! Oh, I don't like this. Now wire the other end to the gas tank. Oh, no. Hello, Rasputin. What are you guys doing? Taking care of business. The fewer questions you ask, the better. They're putting a car bomb on the coach's car. Hey, want to help me save the world? We are. This is how we handle things in my family. Hey, want to help me save the world? We are. This is how we handle things in my family. All right, I'm starting to get a picture of Maloof's family. Let me check something. Maloof Canola. All right, yeah, he's a mobster. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelo. Seems like a nice turtle. You shouldn't get him involved in this mess, Raz. Hey, want to help me save the world? We are. That's weird. This is how we handle things in my family. Just a regular ass version of Raz. I'm trying very hard not to target Maloof. I'm, I'm not sure I can actually talk to him. Save the world? We are. All right, fine. This is how we what about this? Can game? I show you? Uh... I wonder if the coach has a little jetpack or no, something to help him get in and out of this thing. No, I can't mess around with Mr. Pokelo. I've got to give him back to Shiwa right away. Yeah, that isn't true. Ugh. Missed. No. 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 
Dang it, it was supposed to be a dumb joke and... Oh, it barely... Right, you can't double jump when you're levitating. I knew that. Aha! Victory is mine! I was kind of hoping there'd be a hidden achievement for that. <laughs> the fuck is everyone? Someone suggested a while back that that one is uh, a young Ford, and I can see it. I guess I was just looking for the Dr. Wily hair, you know? Shout out to both Torik00 and Question Decca for suggesting and then confirming that, uh, that was Ford Crawler in the carving, respectively. Huh. You know, I've just realized that, uh... Yeah, I don't remember the context. But I've heard the names Cassiopeia and, uh... Otto Mentalis mentioned somehow in association with Psychonauts 2. Oh, how badly I want to look into that, but... Oh, no, I'm gonna be a good boy and finish the first one first. Yes, I knew you guys were here. Should show you guys Mr. Pokelope and uh call her an episode. Moth, moth, moth. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelope. Three cheers for Mr. Pokelope! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelope. Three cheers for Mr. Pokelope! Excellent. I like this wind chime made out of cleaning tools. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Psychonauts, and our journey through the night continues. Later.